Scrooge. The opening words of the movie, The Christmas Carol, Charles Dickens' classic, in which Ebenezer Scrooge is visited by the ghost of his former partner, Jacob Marley. Marley rattles his prodigious fetters and bemoans the fact that now, when it is too late, he realizes what was important in life. He is powerless to rectify the past. But Scrooge has a chance to change the course of his future. If he will but heed the counsel of the spirits of the season, Although reluctant, as we know, he benefits from the experience and begins a new way of living. In Psalm 1, we are told, You are my child, this day I have begotten you. In the Christmas season, the symbolic image of newborn hope, the birth of a baby, brings home to us that this is not a once and for all event, but that every day God offers us once more the gift of new life as his precious child. This day I have begotten you. With each new day comes an opportunity to be born anew, to change the course of our lives so that we may follow Jesus, the light who dispels our darkness. The tender compassion of our God has dawned upon us, giving us the promise of salvation. What would we do differently if we were offered the chance as the spirits of Christmas offered Ebenezer Scrooge? Each of us has our own list of regrets Each of us laments poor choices and mistakes, which, like Marley's shackles, weigh us down as we carry them with us on the journey of life. And like Marley's chains, the past is permanently attached to us, irreversible, but not so the future. We are not irreversible. We are still a work in progress and can change. We don't have to stay stuck in a rut, repeating the same mistakes. Unlike poor Marley, we have the bright promise of hope, light in our darkness, which is offered to each of us, especially at Christmas, because Christmas is about the wonder of unlikely possibilities in the midst of darkness and sometimes hopelessness. The unlikeliness of the events of Christmas bring home to us the surprising newness of God's love, surprising because it is unanticipated. In the midst of life's weariness, we are burdened, like Marley's ponderous chains, with regrets and failures. And like Scrooge, we have an unanticipated gift of a new start offered to us. Jesus said, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. How childlike it is to open ourselves to the wonder and promise of this feast when God became one of us. It should give us great encouragement to know that God's love for us is unrelenting and everlasting, but most of all, unpredictable and surprising in the unanticipated, like Scrooge's Christmas spirits. The way Jesus came among us was indeed a surprise, born of humble parents, from the backwater of Nazareth and Bethlehem. Through this redemptive act, we have the chance every day to change our lives, and we will always have that chance until the day we die. 
Christmas is a joyful reminder that it's never too late, or in the immortal words of that great prophet, Yogi Berra, it ain't over till it's over. Today, we commemorate not only the birth of Jesus, but the rebirth of hope for us, an opportunity to shake off our shackles and celebrate the wondrous and surprising birth of the light which has come to dispel our darkness, a joyful and hopeful reminder that we are born anew today, for this day God has begotten us.